What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Baba stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and I will show you one scary thing that probably makes this asset more bearish than bullish right now. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, somewhere at this point, and I've told you that we have to complete uh, the entire C wave, and C wave should have a shape of five wave structure. And uh, from this top, uh, we completed A wave, uh, probably this uh, might be the B wave, and uh, this is the C wave. And if it is the case, uh, we should have five wave structure in our C wave. And uh, at this very point, uh, we had only four waves out of five. And this means uh, my main assumption was that we should land somewhere lower. And I marked uh, this range as the range of support because $73.07, it was the lowest point. Uh, this range was uh, the lowest point uh, of this price action. And uh, probably this might be a very strong support. And uh, right now, as you can see, we have uh, this small blip uh, below this range. And this blip is quite scary, I have to say. But everything I will show you in just uh, several minutes in my technical analysis. And for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. I have to say that, uh, uh, let me show you first all this article. We are on uh, South China Morning Post. And uh, this article was published uh, on October the 12th. And uh, it's titled, Investors keep dumping Alibaba. HCBC as Hong Kong stocks uh, limp, uh, Beijing hardens zero Covid stands and UK royals global markets. And the key points are following. The Hansen index slips uh, for a fifth day, finding no support from investors at uh, home and abroad. The People's Daily reiterates uh, the benefits of zero Covid policy in yet another commentary heading into the Communist Party's Congress this weekend. And I have to say that uh, the zero Covid policy might strike again uh, Alibaba stock because uh, previously we had uh, a massive uh, price action to the downside that was directly related to their uh, zero Covid policy. And I guess uh, it was uh, on April, as you can see right here. And uh, we almost hit exactly the same ranges of about $70. We had uh, some uh, support uh, from this range, as you can see, and I marked this range. And this range worked perfectly well at this very point in August. So, I have to say that uh, we are still uh, experiencing some bearish pressure and that's why we have to be prepared for any price action uh, of this asset. On top of this news, let me show you uh, this uh, article. We are on uh, Seeking Alpha and this article was published on October 14th and it's titled Alibaba stock rebound could be fast and aggressive. And the summary is following. Alibaba stock is once again clouded by an extremely fearful outlook, with the stock trading again in the mid-70s. The last time Alibaba traded at similar levels in mid-March, the stock aggressively rebounded by nearly 70% in the blink of one trading week. Reflecting on Alibaba's excessively uh, distressed valuation, I argue this stock uh, is a strong buying opportunity, regardless if uh, an investor is trading short or long term. I remain highly confident uh, that eventually the stock will trade once again at a fair valuation, which I see at uh, $133.92 share. And uh, I want to pay your attention on uh, just uh, risks. Uh, and uh, let me show you right here. Challenges are real. And the author of this article uh, describes uh, three main uh, headwinds uh, that uh, might drive the price of this asset lower. First and most obvious, uh, the author liked to highlight that uh, the growth miracle in China has cooled down significantly. Since about four quarters, uh, the economy in China has been pressured uh, by a real estate crisis that has uh, been reflected as China's uh, lemon moment. Moreover, while Western economists have mostly managed to defeat or ignore negative impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, China is still struggling. And here is the zero COVID uh, policy. And uh, definitely, uh, it might be one of the biggest uh, negative catalysts because uh, it is the most obvious and uh, we will see the results of uh, this catalyst uh, in their upcoming uh, earnings report. And if 
the uh, growth uh, will be lower than expected. We will see potentially next leg to the downside. Second uh, risk is the regulation from the Chinese Communist Party. And uh, nobody can predict what might be the next step of CCP. And uh, the final step is the China and US uh, policy and uh, their relationships. Definitely, we might see some uh, problems because of uh, Taiwan tensions. And definitely, this also might negatively impact uh, the price of Alibaba. And uh, let me show you, let me pay your attention that uh, we don't have uh, the delisting risk in this article. And I have to say that uh, most likely at the end of November, beginning of December, when we will see the results of uh, first audits, uh, definitely, uh, these results uh, might be a very good catalyst for Alibaba if everything uh, stays in line with uh, the PCAOB audit. So, definitely we have some risks, but the upside potential for this asset uh, is quite high. And uh, I have to say that uh, if we'll take a look on the price uh, that we are at right now and compare it with the previous price section, let me show you that uh, previously this asset worth exactly the same at the very beginning of uh, 2016. As you can see, on March 2016th, uh, we had uh, the same price. And uh, definitely, this uh, comparison shows that this asset right now is extremely, extremely undervalued. And uh, without uh, external bearish pressure from uh, Chinese Communist Party and from uh, COVID uh, restrictions, I don't think that uh, we could see these low prices for this asset. And that's why, in my opinion, if uh, everything will be okay with their PCAOB audit, definitely uh, this asset will skyrocket in a matter of uh, next several months. And what should you do if you want to enter the trade? Before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, let me switch again to hourly time frame and let me show you uh, hourly time frame and let me show you this uh, price action in details. I have to say that uh, it is very tricky to uh, make a breakdown of this last wave and every, wa every wave should uh, have a shape of five wave structure, every motive wave. And uh, right now I can't uh, count uh, five waves in it, but uh, we might have uh, truncated waves and we might uh, break uh, the entire uh, structure and uh, it might be quite uh, obvious for some reasons. And that's why, what should you do if you want to enter the position? I have to say that for conservative traders, we have to take a close look on the price action around this range of support slash resistance. If this asset uh, breaks uh, this uh, range to the downside, definitely the next level of support might be at uh, 60s or 50s uh, uh, dollars range. Because, uh, let me again switch to daily time frame. It is uh, the lowest uh, points ever for this asset. And uh, let me show you right here. We had uh, uh, 59, roughly 60 or 59 dollars uh, at uh, the beginning, uh, at the February of 2016th. And uh, on uh, September 2015th, we had uh, even lower prices at uh, 57 dollars. This means this range uh, might be the crucial uh, uh, support range for this asset. And we are not far from this range. I have to say that we are about 17 to uh, 21 percent uh, above this range. And that's why we have to be cautious and uh, we have to take a closer look on the price action. But if this support line holds, and uh, this uh, might be just a bear trap. We might see the bounce to the upside. And if uh, the price action will be like this, if we'll have first movement to the upside, then retracement. And again, we will uh, exceed the previous swing high. Definitely, it might be a very good sign that uh, we are establishing new higher highs and higher lows. Especially if the volume will be higher. This means just wait for this uh, type of confirmation and it might be a bit lower uh, somewhere here because uh, we might have uh, this rollover as a bear trap as I already mentioned. And uh, if we'll see this type of price action you can accumulate on the retracement and I will do another update in order to show you how you can handle this movement. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up